Hello and welcome to another In Galactic's Opinion App Review. Now today I'm just going to be taking a quick look at a wallpaper changer known as Walch. Which actually works with Ubuntu's Unity and it took me a while to find a application that would automatically rotate the slideshow wallpapers so you could have you know wallpapers changing on a set timer. Now this application is available in the default Ubuntu repos but I'm gonna have a quick look at it and I'm gonna come back here oh and yes by the way that is a Canon 600D and it's, it's I only just got it the other day uh, so thanks to you guys you're hopefully gonna be enjoying some better video quality here seeing my ugly face a bit more often. Thank you very much now let's have a look at the app. Okay, so you can find Walch, the wallpaper changer, in the Ubuntu Software Center. Uh, now, I'm pretty sure uh, it's been in the default repos for a little while, but you can see here, Walch, it has quite a few good ratings here. And then, uh, and more importantly, it has Unity integration. A lot of the desktop slideshow wallpaper changing type little apps uh, uh, lost their support when Unity came along, uh, along with a lot of other customization features that we won't rant about now. However, Walsh works just dandy, and as you can see here, I've got it on the Unity launcher, and you pull it up, and I've got a folder of wallpapers which, are, uh, which it is rotating through. By the way, all of these wallpapers that I've got rotating here are from Chrome OS. I will put some links in the description below so that you guys can pull up these wallpapers as well because they are very nice wallpapers. Uh, now it all comes down to adding pictures or adding folders of uh, whatever it is that you want. You can also take webcam images or screenshots to add in there as well. You can move up the priorities up or down. You can change the images randomly and you can also change them at a random time. Otherwise, you can set your timer here as to how often you want them to rotate and you get a preview here on the monitor to the right. Now, one thing that it took me a little while to figure out was that there are actually preferences here and, uh, and other options up here on the menu bar. Uh, yes, thank you Unity for hidden menu bars. So if you have a look on extras here, we've got the um, we've got the live Earth wallpaper, which is pretty exciting, uh, in that it provides a real time image of what the Earth is looking right, like around about now, according to all the time zones and all of that fun stuff. You can also tie it in with monitoring a folder, and you've got some, and it will and it will automatically add. Uh, wallpapers to the slideshow if you throw them in that folder. So if you download a few more wallpapers and you want to add them to the collection, then you simply throw them in that folder, add that specific folder here, and it will it'll monitor that folder uh, for any changes in pictures and it will add them into the slideshow. You can also download the picture of the day chosen by Wikipedia, and you've also got some donating uh, functions there as well if you feel uh, goodwilled. Now we've got some preferences here as well, like starting it up at uh, enabling Walsh to start up with when you are when you log into your desktop. Uh, you've also got uh, some, uh, some few different options here for minimizing the tray, which isn't recommended for Unity. We've also got the Unity progress bar, which is very, very handy in that you actually have some very nice integration here. We've got some quick lists available for Walsh in that you can start, pause, stop, and uh, change the wallpapers backwards and forwards depending on what you want to do and then you, you've also got some notifications here you can actually play a sound when your uh, when your picture wall uh, when your wallpaper rotates which is quite handy as well so this is a very fully featured slideshow manager and uh, and it works exactly the way it says that it should on the tin once you start the process it will rotate your wallpapers automatically so I hit start it hides and then it will rotate through those autom uh, automatically every five minutes as I've set it up and then every time you click next, it'll go on to whatever the next image is in the slideshow. Uh, now I am just shuffling these along with the uh, default wallpapers for Ubuntu 1204, and uh, and it works exactly the way it should. Uh, it's very convenient, very easy to understand, and the and the live Earth wallpaper is also a nice touch there as well. So definitely go and check out Walch, and I shall put links down below for Walch and all that fun stuff. Now, hit me up on Google Plus with your favorite wallpapers, and also let me know, again, which puppy distribution I'm gonna be looking at. At this stage, it looks like I'm gonna be looking at MacPup, as I've had multiple requests for that one. Also, let me know if you want me to review uh, Linux or Deep in Linux, the Chinese distribution that I referenced to in PairOS, which you can check out uh, in my other videos that I did last week. Uh, so yeah, let me know down below if you want me to review uh, Deep in Linux. I know I have had requests for that. But again, it's another Ubuntu-based distribution, and I have been doing a lot of Ubuntu-based distros lately. Let me know, of course, if you would like to see any other distro and app reviews. I'm always open for suggestions. And also, I regret to inform everyone that I will not be a guest on the next Linux A-Team, so I deeply regret my absence. 
uh, as I will be out of town for that uh, for when the show is recorded. But nevertheless, the guys are going to have a great show. They've got a fantastic lineup, so definitely go and check them out and join in with their IRC chat. And I shall put links down below as well, so you can check the details out on that. And that will be all from me. I am going to be looking into doing some rebranding with my uh, channel uh, intro videos and things like that to try and bring the quality up to par with sort of the hardware that I've got set up now. So thank you everybody for your continued support and look forward to more content coming your way very soon. Peace out everybody.